Hello everybody, my name is Michael Woodside and I'm an animator who's going to teach you how to draw Flash today. Uh, I hope you had a great Monday, it's Tuesday, and uh, we're just going to get started. If you missed yesterday's video, you might notice that there's a slightly different setup. Uh, I'm just trying to find a new way to get you whoa, there we go, more straight on to the artwork uh, so that you could see exactly what we're drawing. If you might be new here and wondering who this is for, this is for anybody who wants to learn how to draw better, how to draw even at all. Um, we're just, we have a good time trying to find the right way to um, learn how to draw any character. And it's really more about how to think about how to drawing a character. So uh, my hope is that at the end of this, you could look at any other Disney character and think, oh, I think I know how to draw that and then sort of break it down for yourself. So I start doing these warm-up circles here in the top corner of the drawing. And this helps me sort of get my mind set up to think that this is a working drawing. And I'll tell you one thing, I already forgot to clean my hands with this new setup. So I have this sanitizer I use to um, clean my hands before we start drawing. And this helps uh, stay clean while we're working together. I'll just hold my pencil while I have that. And that is now disinfected. Great. You clean your hands as well. That way we just stay clean and healthy while we're doing this. Uh, you don't need to know how to draw to get started. We really go slowly and I teach you line by line and shape by shape how to draw characters. And Flash is a really fun character to draw because he's got a lot of personality all the time. It's a very simple design once we break it down piece by piece. So just have all these little shapes here that I've been drawing on the side of my page with my full arm. You can see my whole arm is rotating and it's it's nice to be able to draw from the shoulder so that you're not just drawing little lines here. You can't even see that. So I like drawing big shapes and Flash has a lot of really long lines so we want to practice big shapes. So I'll be using this purple as my under drawing and then I go over everything later with a dark black. So what's nice about that too is that it helps once you start separating the lines, you can see how the purple lines go away, even as messy as they were, and then all of your focus is drawn to these black lines. So you can really get away with a lot of um, scratchiness. And that is how most animators work. If you see a final animation drawing, they're usually pretty rough underneath. And then they go over with another pencil to help redefine the shapes. Or if you see a clean drawing, you can almost guarantee that underneath it used to be a very dirty drawing and a different sheet of paper. So uh, as we're learning how to draw these characters, you might feel tempted to want to throw away your drawing that you want to give up. Don't give up. Uh, these drawings are always in progress. So we're learning how to draw it as we go and I don't want you to feel like it needs to be perfect as you're learning. Last week we had a lot of really hard characters with the villains, um, so I was seeing a lot of people drawing multiple versions of it as they were trying to figure it out and every new version it got better. So I think that's true for anybody. So if you want to finish your drawing, that way you can have something to look back at and say like, oh you know what, I have improved. I think it's important. So let's get started. I'm going to draw we're just going to draw Flash's head and a little bit of his uh, shoulders if we can fit it. So his head is based on a circle shape, so I'm just going to start that right here. I'm going to draw it pretty big since he doesn't have a lot of tall hair or a hat or anything. And he's Flash too, so we can kind of take it slow. We've drawn a few other Zootopia characters before. Um, we drew first Judy Hopps and then Nick Wilde. And they all kind of have a similar shape design in that they're roughly based on a gumdrop shape. So we can sort of I'll demonstrate that over here. If the gumdrop is a little <clears throat> smaller on the top than it is at the bottom. So these really fun kind of squishy shapes like that. 
So the bottom of Flash's face, we're just gonna draw kind of roughly, I'm gonna go out a little bit from here and then just sort of connect back into the circle. We're gonna be adding on top of that too. So see how sloppy my lines are because we're not really, I'm not really concerned with cleanliness right now. Just sort of searching for the shape. I think some people, I've heard people say like, oh, I can never draw. And uh, you can see from this drawing, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm figuring it out as I go. So I think people feel self-conscious about not knowing how to get there. And hopefully this class is teaching people how to think about how to get there. So I just try to bring up tools that have worked for me in the past. Okay, so dimensionally, let's think about how it's not just a circle or a gumdrop, it's a sphere and it has some dimensionality to it. So if I were to draw this with some center lines here, that would let you know something specific about how this gumdrop is sitting on the ground. So what I did was I took a ping pong ball and I drew these lines on it and this lets you know why we draw the horizontal and vertical lines and what that does is that helps us really decide early on which way the character should be facing. So Flash, it's simplest I think if we draw him straight on, so we're going to do that today. So it's going to have a vertical line that goes right up and down the middle and then a horizontal line that would go from side to side flat, but it's going to be a little lower than center. So for the vertical line. I'm just going to use my whole arm and do that. And I use my whole arm because it's, you can get a smoother shape. If I were to go slower, you get these little wobbles that happen naturally. Maybe that's just me and caffeine, but okay. So for the horizontal line, a little lower than halfway, I'm going to do that line here. soft. Okay, so Flash has this great big nose and that's awesome because what we like to do at the beginning of our drawing is find a defining feature in the character that helps us shape everything out from there. So knowing what his nose looks like is going to give us a lot of information. So I'm going to start doing an upside down U right in the center of his face. If you have a hard time drawing an upside down U, you can just turn your paper upside down and do a regular U. So once we have that, I stopped the U about halfway between the middle line and the bottom of our gumdrop. And at the bottom of this U, I'm just gonna draw kind of a pointed U or like a soft V. This just gives us the shape for his nose. To show the dimensionality of it, I'm just gonna draw kind of a rounded line right there. If we were to see the nose from the side, it's a bit like this and then here. So the shape is kind of like that. This is the side of his face. And so we're just showing this part here, the fat line. And I'm gonna draw a little nostrils and what that is is just, you can think of it as little J's inside, upside down J's that connect. Okay, now that we have his nose, let's start with the mouth corners. So those are going to be pretty close to the side of his nose, just kind of out here to the sides. And I like to put them, I'm going to draw them at the same time so that I get them kind of roughly in the same position. And this space over here is a great space to do your practice drawings. So if you feel like maybe I do a line that is weird or you don't know how to draw it, uh, you can just practice over on this side of the sheet of paper because this is sort of where our, all of our scratchies go. So the top lip is its kind of an interesting 
shape. If we want to right below the nose, draw another rounded V. It's a little bit longer here than it is between here and here. So it's a steeper V. And then we can just round up that V to the mouth corner. And then let's just draw his chin, which is another kind of V shape. And then I'm actually going to just draw a little open mouth here. I think he's about to say something, but it's going to take him a minute. Okay, so that works out the muzzle area on him. And the more I look at this, the more I feel like maybe I went too far with the cheeks. So good thing we kept it light because I'm gonna probably bring it a little bit closer to his chin, but we're gonna draw more of his face to figure out how much we wanna use of it. Okay, so let's go ahead and start building where the eyes go. So the easiest way to do that, I'm gonna draw a really soft line that just goes up from the side of the nose almost to the top of the circle. So this is like the bridge of his nose here, right in the center of his face, this, this area right there. Got pretty simple eyebrows, so we can just go ahead and do those. It's kind of a rounded line that goes up to the top of what we just drew. And it's thicker towards the center than it is on the outside. So you can see it kind of tapers to a point here. It's like a triangle that's bending down. Same thing on the other side. So really lightly, because this isn't a line that will be in the final drawing, but we just want to know where it happens. I'm going to draw a, a really light V here. If you think about the Mickey Mouse shape, when we draw Mickey, we always have the, the little V that comes in at the top that connects to his cheek lines. So Flash has a similar kind of thing there, but we're going to keep it really light so that we can build the shapes on top of it. One of my fa favorite things about Flash are his big eyes. And what's nice about his eyes is that there's only one or two shots in the film where he has really wide open eyes. If you remember that one great shot where he laughs, it takes him forever to laugh. That was animated by my friend Darren Butters. And that's sort of the only time that his eyes get that big. And most of the time his lids are halfway down and kind of blocking his eyes. So what I want to draw is actually the eyelids first because that'll help us figure out where the rest of his eyes go. So actually if you think about his eyelids they kind of they don't connect but if I just draw one rounded line from here from one side of the circle all the way to the other side of the circle just think about how they're relating to each other. I can just darken one part and then stop darkening it before I get to this little edge. I can bring it right up to that edge though. Same on the other side. Really nice big eyes.
Okay, so now that we have the lids done, we can do the actual eyeballs, which are just little round shapes. They go from one side of that eyelid to the other. Like a bottom part of a ball. So when we drew Nick Wilde a couple weeks ago, he had this eyelid shape that we're going to actually use for Flash as well. So they're kind of, if you think about uh, the letter V upside down is this, and then if we round that out, it's here, and then let's take the point, the highest point of that, let's say for the left eye, and we're going to drag it a little bit to the right. So what we get is something that's closer to that. And then kind of the same on the other side, but the opposite. So rather than dragging it right, we're going to drag it left. So if you haven't done this shape before, this is a great place to practice it over here. So now I'm going to do some lines that are, they'll make more sense once we color it in, but he has kind of a color separation where his eyelids, and then he has some stripes that are really sloth-like that come out from the side of his face that are darker than the rest of it. So just starting from the eyelid, I'm going to start to just do kind of an S-curve rounded line that goes out to this side. And then from the eyelid too, I'm just gonna kind of connect up to the center line that we drew. And then about from where the eyelid is, I'm just gonna draw kind of a curvy line that goes out this way. then follows the eye around and then just falls out to the side of the cheek here. It's kind of an abstract shape. It'll make more sense once we start coloring things in. But again, if we were to see Flash from the side, this is his eyeball. He's got these stripes that come out from the side of his eyes that kind of wrap around the back of his head into this little pattern. So we're just drawing this stripe here. We can see it from the front a little bit. I can see where my problem is. This just cuts in too far. Okay, going back up to this V that we made here, this is where all of his hairs kind of stick out of his head. So what I'm gonna do is just draw a bunch of curvy lines that the more right they are, the more angled to the right they are. And then once they get to the center, they're angled more straight up and then to the left. But they're not straight lines. So what I did with the pencil, if I were to draw the hair like that, it would look like, and that's not what they look like because they're really heavy hairs because he's a slow guy. So we're just gonna, Kind of give them these like that kind of weight to it 
I'm just gonna start with these here. Again, this is a great place to practice over there. A couple longer ones. So I'm going to start on this side and just do the other hairs that kind of connect into the side of his face here. So these are just kind of squiggly lines. Remember they're hairs so they don't draw them slowly. They really need to be kind of long lines. So next we can, I just want to indicate where his neck is. So starting from that original circle, I'm going to draw a really big kind of a V shape. I'm not too sharp down here at the bottom. I got to animate Flash a little bit on Zootopia, but only from behind. So it's a shot where Nick and Judy are trying to get information from him and he keeps interrupting Judy and she's being polite but kind of going a little crazy. So you can see just part of him, kind of a, a rear view of him. Okay, so now we can, this is his neck into his shirt. So now I'm just gonna draw some rounded lines here and this is sort of the, his shoulder line, shoulder and back. And he's at work, you know, he works as a DMV, so he has a collared shirt, so I'm just gonna Draw some rounded triangles over here that will be his collar. Of course, he's got a tie on. It's kind of like a gumdrop shape, but a little sharper. Now the last part we want to draw on him, obviously, is his eyeballs. So I'm just going to start drawing here. Similar to how the bottom shape of his eye is just the rounded underside of a ball, I'm going to do the same thing on the eyeballs. And his pupil is a smaller version of that. And then within those, I'll just do a little circle for a highlight, and that'll be something we don't color in. So there we go, that's our underdrawing for Flash. I wonder, I'm gonna try something before we move on. I think his nose might be a little narrow, so I'm going to widen it out at this part of the U and then kind of bring it back in here. Let's see what that looks like. We're going to shade that in with our black pencil, so that's something we can get away with. So yeah, black pencil, let's start working with that. <clears throat> I've got the pencil here in my right hand because I'm right-handed. So that means I'm going to start up here at the top and on the left side of the drawing so that I don't smudge it as I'm working through the drawing. Just doing really long, loose hairs.
had so much fun animating this scene with Judy and him. Because he is so slow. And she's so ready to prove how, how great she is. So they were just so much fun to animate together. So like I said, this shape is all the darker shape, so I'm just gonna do them all together to see how that works. And that continues underneath the eyeball. Gonna do this bigger nose. And I've heard from a lot of you perfectionists out there that you expect your drawings to be perfect from the start. And uh, hopefully, it's encouraging to see that even though this is my job, it still takes a couple, a couple goes. I animated on Zootopia and I still have some, some work to do to, to make sure that I design the characters the way that they were actually designed. So Cory Loftus was the character designer. Love his art style. Go pretty dark with his nose. So like I said, we are all at Disney working from home right now. All the animators are working on a couple projects. So that's why these lessons are pre-recorded, so I could still do them, uh, but then also do my job. So hopefully you guys are enjoying this the same. This new camera setup I think is great because it gives us a more accurate view of the drawing and uh, you don't have any kind of distortion. I think the lighting is a little better too. So let me know what you think as well in comments all over the place, whether here on YouTube or Instagram or Twitter. Try to do what I can to get things to work as best as I can for people. Because this is just something I'm doing for fun. His mouth and nose area is a little darker than the rest of him, so I'm just going to shade that in a bit. Voice for Flash is a storyboard artist who worked on Zootopia. His name is Raymond Percy. He did the temp. Sometimes animators and story artists and anybody in the studio can do temp audio for a character. And uh, we do all these screenings in progress to see how the movie's going in storyboards before we start making certain parts of it. And so he was always great as Flash and ended up getting the role. He also did a voice in uh, Frozen, which was my first time animating dialogue at Disney. It was between him and one of the directors, Paul Briggs. It's another head of story there. He's got these stripes in his 
I just want to color. So they play these two guys who are fighting over how bark should be stacked when it's cold in Arendelle and Hans is handing out all the uh, blankets. So Raymond, who did the voice of Flash, he's the one who wants the bark to be down. It's really important stuff. <laughs> it's, the, uh, it's a cool way to, to start working in dialogue at Disney. They're great at um, sort of giving you progressively more difficult tasks to do. So it was a great place to grow. It continues to be. I don't know about you guys, but I love this song, especially this version of it as well. This is from the end credits of Frozen 2, Casey Musgraves version of All Is Found. The little line that the, the mother sings to her babies. It's the first sequence I worked on in the film. that come out. He doesn't really have them from this angle in this design, but it just feels right. I'm gonna start shading the hairs a little darker than the rest of it. Start building in some texture here. His neck is the same color as his, his patches around his eyes. So since there are hairs too, you can do these quick little lines. You can practice those over here as well. We did something similar when we drew Pua a couple weeks ago. About a month ago. Time flies when you can't go anywhere. And I kind of want to do the same thing over here on these, these little area. Subtle. It's probably hard to see on this 
video, but you'll see it in your drawings if you do it there. And I'm gonna just shade the outside of these eyes a little darker so it has some reflections on it. It's all hair, right? So I'm just going to add a couple little hairs here. Kind of working out the transition points now. So it's not a hard line, but you can just kind of get some extra dark hairs that fall outside of the path. And that gives it more of a furry feel to it, so it's not quite so streamlined. Go bigger with some of these hairs. Sure, it's green, but oh, I mean, might as well. Let's do it. I'm gonna color shirt green. Got a little baby pencil here. Let's see if we can get it to do what we need. So as we get lower on the page too, I like to sort of drop out the detail. So I'm not, I don't want really the viewer to pay attention to anything that's happening down on the bottom side of the page. It should be all about the eyes. So losing detail as you go, oh, partner. Making chicken wings right now. And <laughs> promise you everything's fine. Tie is orange. Good. Make it orange. And pretty simple. You can hear my dog outside, it's our fire marshal. <laughs> stripes, the darker stripes are blue. So even though we color it in gray, it just kind of gives it a little different texture. Not a problem. Well, his eyes are brown. Let's see if I have a good brown.
brown. other parts of his face are kind of a tan. I don't want to go too detailed with it, but I'm just going to put in a couple areas of color. I hope you had fun drawing Flash today. He's uh, He was a favorite of ours while we were making the film and we love that everyone felt the same once the film came out. So it'll be a fun learning how to draw this little guy. kind of shapes. <laughs> okay, I think that about does it. I'm going to go ahead and sign my drawing. I suggest you do the same. I'm going to do mine down here. Thank you for joining me. Don't forget, now that we're done, we gotta clean our hands again. And uh, if you wanna share your drawing, be sure to tag it with Drawing with Woodsy. You can see it at the top of the page. And then um, you can do that on either Instagram or Twitter. And I love seeing those. If you tag me in your story, then I will be able to um, share it on mine. So that's always great if you come back at the end of the day and see all the drawings that everyone did. Great to see how other people have interpreted the character and um, sometimes people add dialogue. So you can have a good time seeing those drawings. Um, I think that's everything. Thank you again. Don't forget to sign it, share it. And uh, remember just because we're separated doesn't mean we need to be alone. And I thank you for spending your Tuesday with me. And I promise you, we don't have a fire here. It was just uh, some chicken wings. Have a good day. Thank you, bye.